Hi, this is Stephanie from Metro Electronics. Today I'm going to tell you about a new product in our iBeam line. This is going to be the TE2PSK. This is a no drill parking sensor kit that's going to include two sensors. You're going to mount them right directly into the back of your bumper and not going to require any drilling. So let's go through and unbox it and I'll show you what you get in the box. Inside comes with your instructions. Very good step-by-step -step color instructions. You get your two little mini sensors. Very small little guys. Now these are going to mount, like I said before, behind the bumper, so you don't have to drill. Bumper may have to come off if you can't get behind it, but you can see they are very small. See how small that is on my hand? Super small. And you only require two of them, not like four like other kits. You get a harness. This is going to be your power harness. Also has the connections for the sensors on them. They're tight, water resistant connectors. You can see that gasket on there. Plug right in real simple. You also have a programming button. That's going to be used for when you get everything set up to program the system and get it started. You get some alcohol prep pads to wipe down and make sure that the bumper is clean before you mount your sensors. You get some zip ties to secure everything in place. You get a little mini piezo that's going to provide audio for you when your sensors sense something. You get a little ruler so that you can measure everything out if you don't have your own, kind of supply everything for you. And then last but not least, the uh, activator for the 3M tape on here. Want to make sure that's going to get a nice, secure adhesion to the bumper. So, now let's do the install. Start by taping the bumper to find the proper mounting location for the sensor. The sensors are to be mounted 15 to 24 inches from the ground and 10 to 20 inches from the center of the vehicle. These measurements will be different for every vehicle and can be adjusted by 4 inches for all measurements. Start by finding and marking the center of the vehicle. Then tape a straight line out from the center to each side of the vehicle. The ideal mounting location for the sensor is a flat location. Once the position is measured, make sure the inside of the bumper is cleaned properly. Please note, most bumpers will need to be removed to gain access to a flat location for the sensors. After mounting each sensor on the bumper, run the wire from each sensor into the vehicle, making sure to secure the wiring to the vehicle so it does not drag on the ground or get caught in any moving parts. Once in the vehicle, a good source for a reverse signal and ground will need to be located and tapped into. Verify the reverse signal and ground with a digital multimeter. After the reverse signal and ground are connected, finish the install by mounting and connecting the mini speaker for the audible alerts. There's a simple calibration sequence that needs to be done. Plug in the calibration button, put the vehicle into reverse, and make sure there's nothing within three feet of the vehicle, and press and hold the button for three seconds or until you hear two continuous beeps. This indicates that the sensors are calibrated and active. After this, the button can be unplugged and the system can be tested. 